Bravo. You know what? I'm super excited about our Pep Live episode right now because it is very timely. As we all know, we are currently celebrating Women's Month, which is why we will be joined by one of the awardees of Cosmopolitan Philippines Women of Influence in 2023. Now, we will get to know more about her a little bit later, you guys. But before we welcome her, let me just introduce to you my co-host for tonight, Chino. Good evening, Pepsters. My name is Chino, and I will be joining you for the first time, actually. But enough about me. Let's all welcome TikTok's Kanye girl, Rain Matienzo. Yes! Hi, Rain! Oh, Hello, God. everybody, uh, with my raspy voice. Hey, raspy voice, <laughs> diba? Okay, uh, how's he go? Congratulations. Uh-oh. Oh, oh nga, no? Right oh. Now. He's in school, eh, on the way back pa lang. Ah, okay. At least we're back school today. Yes, oh, we are so very... you're not, yeah, you're yes. not making sundo ngayon. <laughs> not today, because I wanted to have a chat with you, FK, yeah. and she. Yeah. Super busy Super schedule. Yeah. Super busy. <laughs> Ayan. Oh, diba? First, congratulations to Chino, hosting debut, and then congratulations, Rain. Again, yes. again, yeah. Pepsters, she's one of the awardees of Cosmopolitan Philippines Women of Influence in 2023. So congrats. And before we before we delve into that very um very nice, very um ano ba, very nice achievement, oh, diba? Uh-huh. Um magkakaroon muna tayo ng icebreaker. Okay? Ready ka na ba? <laughs> Ready na. Ready na. Yes. Always. So this ice <laughs> Icebreaker is called Hot Takes. So for mm-hmm. this one, again, Hot Takes. So these are like pieces of commentaries that are relevant now nowadays. So what can be more relevant than women empowerment, right? Especially for this month. So magpapakita kami sa'yo now ng mga videos. Um, some of the interviews we've had with female celebrities before. When we ask them what of what lines offend women the most, so and then we're gonna ask you for your hot takes in each one of them, okay? Okay. So the first one implying women are inherently hysterical when they voice their opinion. So we will show you the video of Gabby Garcia. Okay. Yes. Oh, your personality is too strong. You're taking too much, too much space. Ganon. Parang, uh, and so? And so? Yeah. Oh, diba? So what's your take on that? Na implying women are inherently hysterical when they voice out their opinions. You know, I really agree with Gabby. Na parang, and so? Parang, yeah. just because, okay, for me, I have no... Of course, I don't want to be called hysterical, but being a woman for so long, parang yeah, parang pasung pasuna ako hearing that Ito. when I hear opinions. So at this point, that is also my reaction, and so and I feel like people just don't want to make space for women to uh, express their opinions, and their route is usually to go the emotional route. Na parang tama na ito na, ito na ako. True. <laughs> yeah, That's so true. true. Emotional. Parang- route. Yeah, people just don't want to deal with women's emotions, I would say. Yeah, that's so true. And parang they're so used to women um, are just submissive. Na yeah. parang yeah. It's so out of character for them to have their own opinions. Like the moment they say something, parang, parang Uy, grabe, ano? you're coming off too strong. Diba? Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. So you naman, since you don't agree with that statement, I'm assuming you're not mahinhin as a person. 
you really oh voice God. out your opinion. I'm, I'm a very mahinhin person. Ay. Let's read. <laughs> <laughs> now, but yeah, um, I've tried. Okay. Uh, yeah. I to brand rebrand myself as mahinhin, because uh-uh. um, ever since I was a child, I've always been kalog. So, mm-hmm. parang I've always felt that people were uncomfortable with that, because as I said, I with more ladylike women, but. Yeah. Um, now I think even being kalog, being expressive, I would say that is very ladylike. That's true. Yeah. Mm-mm. And people should be more people used more to women, women. Um, being more, more outspoken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, our next statement, man. Perceiving women as the weaker sex. Let's watch Kiana Valenciano's <laughs> video. You're such a girl. Like, what's so bad with being a girl? There, because they but they say it as something offensive. Oh. Yeah, exactly. it's like equal, lang din ah. Because the but the first statement, kay Gabi, like, parang you're taking up too much space because you're too outspoken. And yes, then with Kiana, so naman, de ba? Like, you're such a girl. So I'm assuming na parang masyado mahinhin or Ma-arted. Yeah, showing that you're weak. Oh. Oh, when oh. someone so, shows their weak side, parang sinasabihan, you're such a girl. Parang ganon. Exactly. Uh, my hot take on that is that parang you can't win as a woman. Like, parang, honestly, I have tried so many. I, I There were there were times in my life na I've been people-pleasing din kasi. So, parang okay. I tried to shift little bits of my personality to fit what That's another true. person would want. Pero, you can never win. Because, like, yun nga, parang with Gabby saying na uh, yun, being too outspoken, taking up too much space versus, like, okay, if you are such a girl and you act, like, you connect and you try to uh, fit into that standard of what being a woman is like, it's still villainized. So, it's That's very true. frustrating. And obviously, I do not agree with, like, People being like, oh my gosh, you're such a girl. Like, what is that supposed to mean? I've seen girls do uh-huh. amazing things. And I recently I've been watching this um this TikTok account. The parang she's a girl and she's a big wave surfer. Parang grabe. Yeah. That is amazing. So yeah, women just amaze me all the time how they can do a lot of different things and not just allow themselves to be boxed to one thing that society tells them that they are accepted to do. That's exactly true. They are amazing. They're extraordinary. I don't think people should take it as an offense. It's more yeah. like a compliment. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, like, if that's your personality, the right? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're behind him, then so be it. If you're outspoken yeah, and you speak the truth, go for it. Yes, there is yeah. no like one superior way to be a woman. That's yeah. true. That's true. You can be makikai or boyish or anything. That's exactly true. There's no one way to be a woman. Okay, our last. Go, Chino. So the last one is consistently overestimating a woman's interest by Sonia Naman. Sonia Lopez. Um, easy to get coming. Yeah. Yun daw yung line na 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 offend siya. When people say be- easy to get on girls. Before anything, uh, like I wonder who sino nagsabi kay Sonia Lopez na easy to get siya. Oh, man, like, that's oh, that's oh, oh. <laughs> no boy I mean, is first naman siya. So, uh-oh. parang lang sinabi yung ganun. Parang ang hirap makakuha ng Sonia Lopez. Totoo. Wow, grabe. Easy to get ang Sonia Lopez. Parang yun na nga, yun nakaka-asar kasi... Tanya Lopez na siya, and still she's she gets to hear stuff like that that she's oh, easy that's to get. Um, mm-hmm. I also was talking to one of my artista friends recently. Hi, Angela Alarcon. Tapos mm-hmm. tinasabi niya, naiinis din siya kapag ka parang, for instance, may guy siya na tinuturn down. 
Tapos, ang lagi silang nagpapalusot na, hindi, kasi ano lang yan eh, parang yun nga, easy to get siya masyado. Parang they resort to a lot of different um, mm. reasonings. When, bottom oh. line, you're just trying to insult a woman kasi nag-gulong siya tayo or ayaw uh, niya. That's true. Or she said yes to someone else and not to you. That's you know, true. so, I feel like that's, um, that's really frustrating kasi kahit mag-no ka, masasabihan ka pa din ng Ah, easy to get kasi siya dito sa ibang taan na to. Kaya ako gusto ko mga hard to get. Like, please, please. Nag-no na siya sa'yo. Ayun. Toto. Yeah. Also, di ba, oh, parang ang, ang sama din na parang you show a bit of kindness to someone and there's always that assumption na parang, uy, type ako nito. Yeah. Ganyan. Yes, exactly. Parang, as a woman na ang hirap, like, it's, I, I feel like I cannot win sometimes. Because mm-hmm. I've been more wary. Parang sometimes, I just want to actually be friends with a guy yeah. or mm-hmm. whoever, di ba? Pero because they think na I'm being too nice to them, it's like, oh, yo ako na dito, dito na to kakausapin kasi trip ako nito. Like, excuse me! <laughs> toto, toto! <laughs> And then if you proceed, if you proceed to ignore them, they would say na sobrang prude naman ng girl na to. Yeah. But, So, mas mas plada naman. Yes, oh, plada. That's you why really I, can't win. <laughs> exactly. That's why I always say that you can't win. And even don't give up, to, though. Diba? Pero, don't give up, guys. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> Pero kasi, ako as a girl, I love shooting my shot, eh. Like, kunyari, pag may gusto ko, lalapitan ko talaga sila. And that's so, true, that's true. Siyempre, like, the way of doing that is different than my approach to someone that I'm actually just trying to be friends with. Pero, mm-hmm. either way, both are taken so negatively and so villainized. Mm-hmm. Parang, hmm? May nakita pa akong video na to sa TikTok. Yung, ay, naku, nainis ako na naman. It's this video right. like, <laughs> nice. who, who, when she's pretty, but she shoots her shot or slides in your DMs. And then the okay. other, mm, no, sir. Like, wala nang nagsaslide sa DMs mo. Let's be real. Wala nang shoot na shot sa'yo. Oh Kaya, my God. But yeah. Hot take. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is my hot take. <laughs> Hindi ka naman nag-comment dun sa TikTok account. Nagwapo ka. <laughs> kasi tinilit niya the video, I think. Ah, okay. So, it probably got backlash. No. Yeah, girls got heated. And I think he took the video down. But it's just funny seeing the reactions of girls. Na parang, is there anything wrong with that? And sadly, yeah. even some of my friends do not like that. But mm, if they don't like that, then I don't like them anymore. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Kasi... Why? Why is it only? Um, why is it only okay when guys do it? Like we also want to pursue those that we like. The yeah, like, you know, just shooting your shot, letting them. Know yeah. That like, as a woman now, parang so ano, your options are the only people who come to you. Like, very you empowered. Very empowered. You. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Like having the autonomy to choose that itself yeah. is like a big thing for for us, the right? Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I'm on your side. Go choose your man. <laughs> Go choose yes, your way. man. Basta wag lang tanga. Ayun lang. Ayun lang. That's a different conversation. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Tahimik na tayo dyan. Ang dami palang sa sabihin. Ayan, oh, I mean, na-serve. Na- oh. Yes. That's the beauty nga, di ba? That's why we're here with Rain right now to talk about these things, these issues. Because mm. she is yeah. a woman of influence, di ba? Exactly. O, di ba? Na-survive niya yung icebreaker natin. Papunta na tayo sa official <laughs> Q&A. Yeah. Yes, like, like Chino mentioned, you are a woman of influence, di ba? So, for you, we just want to hear it from you yourself. What makes someone a woman of influence? And is it just for celebrities? Mm. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so But um, as a, as a woman of influence, uh, yes. I think someone who is not scared to you know, voice out her opinions. And I think for me personally, um, 
there are a lot of different ways I try to influence people or empower hmm. people to hold the ladder up, as I would always say. Kasi, hindi naman ako nakarating dito by my own means. Like, it takes a village. There are a lot of people who have supported me through the years, even when I was still young. And rather than paying those people back, my method is trying to pay it forward. So, um, mm-hmm. may mga times in my life na parang, okay, how do I influence more people? Kasi these numbers, like anyone can have the numbers on TikTok. Anyone can no, have the that's numbers true. on social media and be an artista. But I would say na um, not everyone can really... Uh, what do you call this, understand what the word influence means or make it something that's beautiful. So may mga, I have kids or teenagers, young people messaging me, asking me how I did certain things. And to me, even in that simple way, I think that is influential because I get to hand them steps or the tools on how I got here if this is something that they also want to do or just support them in let's say, interview na nila ako for a thesis. Like, I think that helps a lot because hirap na hirap ako mm. ng thesis ko eh. And I think, yeah. being here, honestly, nanilimutan ko pa din yun sometimes na even simple, yeah. um, even as, something as simple as setting up a Zoom meeting for a thesis interview mm. goes a long way. Like, you help someone graduate. So, mm-hmm. parang, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's something that I really love doing and um, being given this platform allows me to do it in a more large scale um they in a more large scale way so uh, yeah i think that is what makes someone a woman of influence and definitely it's not just for artistas i know the other awardees um a bunch of them work behind the scenes as well yeah. um, yes that is very empowering a lot of the people who have influenced me and helped me become like the person I am today, actually are not artistas. They were teachers. They were people yeah. working in the scenes in showbiz or in production, writers. So that is very empowering for me to try and pay it forward. Yes, and that is very <laughs> interesting. That you, no, that's very interesting that you mentioned yes. pay it forward or just a little um, in the littlest way, like helping them with thesis. Because uh, you mentioned um, like the other women of influence, um, like for example, see Francisca Batuanda of Home Buddies, like just mm-hmm. helping them how to um, navigate through their um, interior space, like how to um, develop yeah. their homes more, and in in like in, in the process, na 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 get elevate your mental health. Nila. for example, just something like that. So there's something rewarding when you influence them. It's not just simply influencing them to do these things. There's there's something rewarding when they do it. Yeah. I feel like oh. when people think about influence kasi or trying to create change, they forget yeah. that they can do it behind the scenes or they can do it in small scale um, yeah. situations muna. Kasi before then, sabi ko, okay, anong gagawin ko? I want to like help people yeah. out. I want to enter showbiz. But if you think about it really or even when I think about it, entering showbiz mm-hmm. or being on TikTok, it doesn't really seem like it's creating much change or helping people. Mm. Out. At the end yeah. of the day, in front of the camera, having fun, I'm acting, yeah. entertainment. Yeah. Even in those little things, um, you uh, get to connect with people that eh? you never really know. And you don't always, like, uh, the image of um, influencing doesn't always have to be like ending world hunger, right? Or ending poverty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, emphasizing small wins. Yes. Yeah, that's so in line with that, naman, no, for the next question, what sets apart an influencer and a woman of influence? Ooh. Okay, hot take again. Uh-oh. Hot take. <laughs> no, but um, I guess what separates them is women of influence want to create good change and make their work more um, oriented or geared towards helping people outside. So yeah. if you're just just an influencer, and I'm not saying that there's something wrong with being an influencer and only caring about yourself, but that is like that is the line that separates both. Eh? Parang mm. if you're an influencer, I think it's and there is a tendency. I admit, ako din sometimes. Parang I get carried away by the glitz and glamour of things. Na ang saya because all these like 
good things are coming my way and I get to mm-hmm. enjoy them on my own. Because it's coming yeah. to work. Yeah. But um, yeah, really just being able to share that to other people, I guess, is what separates a woman of influence and mm. uh, influencer. That's true. So yeah, not saying that it's bad to enjoy like the perks, the freebies. They are amazing. But if you personally have a deeper cause that you want to champion, then it's about you know, sharing that and really extending that to other people, people around you, or even people who get to watch your content. That's and just so, I know, lang din. Uh, sorry, go FK. Go. I, I just want to summarize yung sinabi niya. Parang, so yeah. the long-lasting effects, um, pag woman of influence ka, it goes outwards. Whereas when you're an influencer, the effects um, go inwards. inwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reward, cool. kumbaga, the reward of being a woman of influence is um, na- na-feel mo siya because you're helping. And then yeah. for influencers naman, the glitz and glamour, yun yung reward because you worked hard diba, to get yeah. access to these things. So mm-hmm. in line with that, I'm just curious lang no, since you mentioned that you get carried away. Um, it's normal, we're human lang, diba? Who grounds you naman na when, when you get carried away, like sino-sino yung mga tao na parang reminds you na, wait, Ray, baba ka muna ng konti. Uh-oh. Girl! Baba ka muna. <laughs> Oo. Baba ka ng konti, girl. Uh, I would say I have a really good support system. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, when you are in this space, in this industry, you meet a lot of amazing people and nakaka-excite, nakakakilig. They're important people. But finding balance between in a, um, influencer, creator, showbiz friends, and people who I listen to in that industry and people who are also those na I knew before I even became um, a TikTok personality or even on showbiz and actor, uh, it, it helps, like, finding that balance. So usually these people are, like, my my parents, of course, and I have friends who know me, who've known me since high school. As in, high school, uh, girl, you want to homework today? Yung mga ganong level. Uh-oh. Yeah. Kilala niya ako. One before more. all this. <laughs> yes. O, kilala nila talaga ako. So, I go back to those people and they're all, they're all still very much present in my life. And also, yun nga, parang striking a balance between the people whom I've met in the industry who empower me to Okay, Rain, ito gawin natin para this is the next step that you could do in your career. This is how mm-hmm. you have. This is a good goal to have. So, yeah, I think all those things ground me. Para hindi ako masyado nagiging, let's say, if I get too comfortable with the people that I've known for so forever, I will mm-hmm. parang, I, I will have the tendency na, okay, mag-relax na lang ako. Hindi ako macha-challenge, parang complacent. Mm-hmm. There are people naman na parang, yeah. let's do this, let's go after that. So, yeah. yeah. Middle ground. Balance. Okay. The balance. Okay. It's nice that you still connect with the people from your past. I think need Chef for a restart. And yeah. it's also nice to know na the people naman you've met in showbiz are really, you know, encouraging you to do more, do more. So, yeah. mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I love it. We love a balanced lady. The Draw your balance. Ayan. And then, I don't know, man. Um, because you talked to us about how you were able to positively influence your um followers, mo, your fans. Can you cite a recent event, na man, where you thought of yourself as a woman of influence? Parang after mo nagawa, we parang woman of influence talaga ako. <laughs> um, I think recently. I was able, it's, it's a very small thing, but recently, mm. uh, nga, uh, like I said earlier, there was this girl whom mm. I have met when I was a courtside reporter. Pa. She's from the school that I courtsided for. So I'm from UP, but mm. she's from Adamson. And yeah. um, I remember we had like just one interaction ever. And I don't know where mm. she's studying na now, but I know she's graduating because she reached out. As in, lahat ng channels ko reach out siya. Instagram, email, uh. Twitter, Facebook. Kasi she wanted to get me for an interview for her thesis. And that really mm-hmm. made me pause because I entered showbiz. I was finishing college and yeah. I had a really hard time. Like, yung thesis ko, pinaiyak talaga niya ako. Sent me down a spiral. Oh. And oh, yeah. very difficult. Kasi parang, hindi ko walang tumutulog sa akin. And, yeah. Um, 
just remembering that event in my life and seeing her ask for help. Parang, okay, I, I found myself in this position also before mm-hmm. na kinilangan ko ng tulong. And yeah. me now, it seems like uh, thesis lang yan. It's just a Zoom mm-hmm. interview for school lang naman. It's that's, not like... That's true. Yeah. It's not like, you know, an interview with Pep. Ganon, di ba? So, <laughs> something that you do behind the scenes. But I really yeah. was able to do it. And then when I got to speak with her and her groupmates, sharing my experiences, um, I... That's when I, after that, I felt like, wow, I think I was able to help them in such a way that will really create ripples of change in their lives. Like, imagine being able to graduate, mm-hmm. being able to pass Totoo. that. Then I have a requirement. Just, you know, in my own little way, I spare lang ako lang time to share my thoughts, answer their questions. Uh, I think that that was very fulfilling for me, and I still think about it. Super, super fulfilling. Chaka, I'm very sure that she's she more than just appreciated what you did. Because we're still there, we're still in thesis, tayo, and we all know, like, Correct. right now, this is what we're saying, ah, thesis lang, tamang, ah. but in the yeah. moment, talaga, it's like, life or death. <laughs> so, mm-hmm, exactly. When you receive that help, parang, yeah, it is, yeah. it is, it, it does a lot of positive changes. Yeah. Oh, na ba? Graduate siya because of rain. Diba? 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 <laughs> I mean, I'm I mean, I'm 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 No thesis, no graduation, no work. No thesis, that's true. Uh-oh. Yung yung Uh-oh. Yung yung Uh-oh. Yeah. Naging part. Uh-oh. Part rain to success. Malay natin magiging woman of influence din siya, so... Oh, my yeah. special man to the rain, Next question, Aman. So, how do you feel about being one of the women of influence for 2023? Is this your first time, Pala? Yeah, it was my... It, like, hindi ko alam, hindi ko parang na mag-post when I entered the studio. Parang, paano ba ako mag- Like, I was telling them, the photographers, the team, I was like, oh, can you help me post? Because I really don't know how. <laughs> so I'm not used to having a feature like this and it being an award. Parang, when I got the message, I sat down and thought, ano bang ginawa ko to be a woman of influence? Because I oh. really am just posting videos and... <laughs> It's so cliche, and people have heard this so many times. Just being myself and um, sharing what I want to share, reacting to the things that I feel very um, emotionally charged to react to. So yeah. um, I think that was very surprising when I realized that I am going to be part of the awardees. And mm-hmm. yeah, just the women that I got to receive the award alongside. And I'm so excited to meet them, I think, next mm-hmm. week have like a full gathering um ayun, i'm so excited to hear more about their stories as well and hopefully share mine so ayun, i'm i'm so honored i'm really really very honored and flattered and yeah. also really curious kasi parang um to be a woman of influence i think it means differently for me and how i do mm-hmm. it is how the That's other people true. do it so i'm very excited to ask them and um, learn about their fields as well and what they're doing. Hello, Christian! <laughs> Fans since UAAP days, though. Ayan. And also, ano, hindi pa pala kayo nag-meet, no? Grab it. Yeah, hindi pa. Um, kasi we're eight, so I think, like, we had very... Hindi siya parang lahat kami at the studio being yeah, shot. Yeah. Ano mode. Pero, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to meet them and hear about their stories as well. And hear about their stories about you then, because I'm sure when you were um, awarded that, nagkaroon ka ng self-reflection of, bakit kaya ako woman of influence? But at the same time, when you meet them, pwede din silang, di ba, malay natin, baka mag-share din sila why they think you are a woman of influence, di ba? So parang, yeah, you're gonna get to hear their um their perspective naman. And yes. finally, um, what do you think are the challenges that you are going to face 
as a woman of influence? Ooh. I think one of the challenges that I'm going to face in my career, specifically siguro with acting, it's choosing roles that are that are empowering. Because oh. um, ever since I entered this space, I put myself in a box. I put myself in a mm-hmm. box now. Okay, ako si Rain, I did TikTok, I was Konya Girl, and then I was doing Trophy Wife. Um, feel ko bagay ako best friend roles lang. And people would always ask me, mm-hmm. oh, gusto mo character actress? Gusto mo bang um, maging dramatic actress? I'm like, mm, maybe not. Ayoko, ito na yung ginagawa ko. Ito na lang yung kaya ko. Feel ko tatagal ako pag ganito yung ginagawa ko. But, you know, um, I feel like being a woman of influence, you are like, it's rare that it happens na parang you become a woman of influence because you stayed in your comfort zone. So, just stepping out and doing that role na Salome at Maria Clara at Ibarra. Salome, yes. You. Yeah. <laughs> that was very challenging. And um, mm. that is one challenge I faced kasi I, I saw the show. I hosted the press con. I decided, sabi ko, I want to be part of this show. And... Mm. I know that it was gonna be difficult kasi yung script niya very makalumang Tagalog. Um, <laughs> it's gonna push me to go out of my comfort zone from doing best friend roles which I'm very comfortable with and I really enjoy mm-hmm. it. But, um, I don't know. There was just something in me na parang, okay, it's gonna be challenging but it's going to be very um, impactful, I would say. If not for other people, at least at the very least, first and foremost, for me. So, right. ayun, just getting that role and um, learning how to act in that um, in that kind of character sketch, it was very difficult, but I enjoyed it. So, I think, moving forward, gusto ko ulit ng mga ganong roles. And, yeah. of course, that means um, waiting for the perfect one to arrive. Waiting mm-hmm at that opportunity and not knowing, wrestling with that uncertainty na parang dadating pa ba to ulit sa akin, magkakaroon ba ulit ng ganitong role? I think yeah. that's a challenge that I would have to face. But the um, I think just being able to start that, I don't want to leave that trajectory just yet. Kasi it's helped mm. a lot of people, especially women who are morenas. They're like, grabe, pinay na pinay. And parang just seeing the comments, how they appreciated being Filipino, it's very heartwarming and being part mm. of that is very moving. Eh. So I want to continue doing that. So if it demands a little more wait time, then let's do it. Let's do it. Perfect. Yeah, we are also going to talk about, because you brought up the Morena representation, we are going to talk about that a little later. But that's a very nice, that's a very perfect answer. Chino, would you like something to add? Oh, as a Moreno guy, actually, like yeah. I <laughs> no, appreciate. Actually, because yeah. to, to be yeah. honest, because there aren't a lot of um actually, parang wala nga eh, campaigns on dark skin for guys, right? Mm-hmm. But whenever I see those Morena campaigns, I know it's targeted towards women, but I appreciate it because it's yeah. not just representing. Um, women, but you know, the lahat, lahat na ganun yeah. yung kulay. So lahat, I feel yeah, very much exactly. represented, and we really enjoyed your role also in Mara Clara. 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 Yeah. Uh-oh. So you. Yes. So are we gonna do the pep challenge now? Ready, ka na ba? Ready, kind of um, Are you ready? Um, eto na nga, kaya hinabaan ko yung answers ko para. Oh, matu- para. Ay, so you're trying to burn time pala. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, go. As an empowered woman. This yes, time. as a woman of influence. <laughs> yes, woman of influence. Ayan, our pep challenge is called Social Media Raid. Okay.
Okay, so for this one, we just randomly picked out posts from your feed and tag random. posts. Random. 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 <laughs> Hindi daw natin pinili. Uh, Ayan, uh, from your tag post and from your feed. Tapos, just tell us a little backstory about the post or any funny episodes that happened while the post was taken. Okay. okay. First one. Oh my gosh. Cover <laughs> <Sabi laughs> throwback. But oh, yes. Oh, Shock, girl. But ka naka shorts na ghost ka. <laughs> 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 oh, wala yun may unit sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Parang beach party naman ata. Hindi ano siya, fairgrounds. Nalala ko sa ah. ano sa, sa May Pasay yata siya. For ano? For what school? School event ba to? Um, this was, yeah, this was a school event, I think, for DLSU Laguna. I think, I would love to say. Pero this was when I was back in um, monster radio pa as a um, what's that called as a, as a radio one student jock so the girl next to me oh. he is also one of my colleagues there tapos nag host kami dyan and oh my gosh may pogi <laughs> may pogi dyan oh my god oh di ba naalala niya pero I remember looking back at this photo parang sabi ko, ay, at ako mag-shorts, nag-host ako. Although it was a concert, it was a fun summer-themed event. Ah, okay. Uh, yun, yeah. parang, it's still like, girl, parang, parang we could make better fashion choices this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you participated as a student jock or uh, internship na ba to? Or ano? What? No, I was just, wala lang, trip ko lang mag-student jock as a uh, girl. Okay. Okay. Diba? Nakuha yeah. siya agad. Yeah, iba talaga yung mga women of influence. <laughs> so, pero Saka iba yung trip. Talk. Enjoy Talk. ko lang mag-talk noon. And uso kasi yun before. And I remember I listened to RX a lot. Kasi naminigay sila ng concert tickets. Tapos gusto ko laging manalo. So tumatawag talaga ako. I would listen to ads. And they advertise yeah. Radio 1. So I was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. When I going to college, I would want to be a Radio 1 student rock. That was I audition. Mm. The rest is history. And tanggap. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, diba? Okay, our next post naman. What's our next Ay! post? Oh, diba? Teka, teka. I think I know this post. Kasi yung wow. caption kasi nito, it's more of the caption actually that I want to ask. Kasi yung nakalagay sa caption. How I slide into your DMs. Meron ba tayong pinapatamaan ito? Right? Ano mo? Sa, da- <laughs> sa dami ng parang naging crush ko, hindi ko na maalala. Pero for sure, <laughs> for sure may pinapatamaan ako nito. Nalimutan ko na lang kung sino. But this is so funny. This was, I think, our first time in La Union. And since then, this was like 2017, I think. Since then, my family has been coming back every single year. Kasi wala lang. Mm. It's just like our happy place. Pero kita niyo ba yung mga itsura dyan sa photo? Yung sa may dagat. May mga tao dyan. Binura ko lang sila sa Snapseed. Oh! <laughs> Tapos, it was like one of the very few times na I got to stand up on a surfboard. And this yeah. was like the first and last time I surfed ever. <laughs> oh! So, so binura mo na lang sila. Oh, ayun mo, yung waves hindi pantay. Binaro ko yung mga tao. <laughs> oh, A resourceful girl. Nice photo, eh. oh, oh. Tsaka syempre, yeah, diba? For the caption tayo for this day. Meron tayong pinapatamakan. Oh. Diba? Ang witty ng ating woman of influence. How I slide oh. into your DMs. Oh, diba? Oh, diba, diba nice. she said na she likes Probably. to shoot her shot. So, yun yun. As oh, early yeah. as 2018. Already shooting oh, yeah. her shots. You may make it earlier. <laughs> earlier pa. Oh, diba? Earlier. Pero ayun, wala lang. Just a fun little like. Nanalo ko yung, oh, I think the girl who captioned that photo, I remember, was the girl that I was with in the photo prior. Ganun, mm. Sobrang witty kasi noon. So, mm. she helped me caption that photo. Oh. Okay. Credits to that girl. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So photo is ah this one this is cute <laughs> oh yes it's co-stars yes 
this was at UP Fair naman. Um, nakatawa nga ako kasi parang David, nakita ko siya, sabi ko, ginagawa mo dito? Yeah. Oh. Oh, hindi ka balik, hindi ka balik busy? Hindi ka ba, parang alam mo na, I don't know, anong ginagawa niya? I, I just bet he's very, very busy. But, I think he specifically made time to go. They may branch those ng restaurant niya, like, doing a pop-up that night sa UP uh... Fair. And so, all five days, I think, ng UP Fair, sakto nagkita pa kami. But, oh. uh, Uh, David is a colleague. He's a, well, I don't know, if, maybe friend. <laughs> a good acquaintance. But we have sometimes. So that was a really fun evening. He watched lang UP Fair because um, tag dito. Dito yaya na experience ng college and malado mm. masadong ganyan in his school, which was CSB. And for me, I was there because I hosted. I love coming back to UP Fair and. Yeah. Uh, Ayun, it's just it's just it's fun. It's like a mini reunion because I think the last time I saw medyo matagal na rin eh. Like something I hosted for GMA at that. Mm. Ayun, Sparkle represents. Yes. <laughs> All right, that's the that's a nice reunion. Ayun. Next, ano naman natin next post? I Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> ayun. Oh my gosh, what a throwback. But girl, na, okay, this was um the UAP CDC 2019 and uh, nakakatawa naman yung nag-bot sa akin parang hirap na hirap na siya. <laughs> <laughs> Pinaktip niyo, niyo ba yan? Or ano? Yes. Improv- I, love, oh, okay, okay. I love being a courtside reporter for Adamson, specifically nung CDC nila kasi si Coach Jam, yung coach no ng pep squad was very game. Tapos they all, like, lahat naman ng courtside reporters every single year, they rehearsed their um crowd check is what it was called. I, I think that's uh, okay. Now we rehearse our crowd check. And I love Coach Jam kasi game sila na parang rain, magpasabog tayo sa crowd check mo. And nagpahiram siya ng, ano niya, ng athletes niya for me to Um, be able to practice my entrance. Tapos, how do sila din nag-conceptualize? I think the script was mine when I entered the arena, mm. how I entered the team, mm. how I hyped up the crowd. Pero, yeah, the choreography, I would say, was from the coaches. Very game din yung um, pep squad ng Adamson. Tapos, nakakatawa kasi talawang beses ako nag-crowd check. Una, rehearsal. Bigay na bigay na ako. Second uh-huh. time, Tiner na, wala na akong boses. So, pinabarda <laughs> ng mga Twitter people, binabarda ako ng mga netizens, they were like, ano ba tong courtside reporter na Adamson, wala nang boses? <laughs> Girl, kasi pukas na talaga ako. <laughs> Nauna na yung ano, yung pasabo. <laughs> yes. Oo. So, wala na ako. Oo. Oh. Although, I have a question pala with that, no? The courtside reporter ka for... Adamson, but you studied in UP. So, yes. paano yun? Like, is, is that allowed? Allowed pala siya? Yes, it's allowed. Um, Actually, there were courtside reporters before pa, na parang not even from UAAP schools, but during my time, they made sure mm-hmm. na within UAAP schools. So, what they do is they open the auditions to everyone, I, or everyone in UAAP schools, and then let's say, Usually kasi sa UP and Ateneo and La Salle, sobrang daming nag-audition. Mm. And for like Adamson and NU, syempre, I just try to think about it in such a way na ang lalaki kasi ng communication programs in the other schools. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sa schools, baka medyo onti lang or maybe it's not as advertised. Pero yun, and then sinasala nila from who passes the auditions. And they asked me, they were like, kasi tatlo kami, at that time, I think tatlo kami na Mm-hmm. nakapasok from UP. So, syempre, isa lang sa amin makukuha for UP. And I got asked what school I would be willing to report for if not for UP. And I said Adamson kasi at that time, parang mm-hmm. rivals yung UP and Adamson sa basketball. So, I know a fair amount of information about Adamson. Mm-hmm. But it was definitely mm-hmm. tricky. It was tricky earning the respect and the trust of the team. Kasi, yeah. nagpapasok from UP ako. Baka mamaya, I spill ko yung secrets nila. But yeah. I grew up close with the team, eh. so, ayun, pwede siya. Pwede Interesting. siya. Interesting. Oo. I Uh-oh. didn't know that kasi akala ko exclusive, eh. Like, if you're from the school, dito ka lang courtside reporter. Pwede pala siya. Yes, pwede siya. 
Sorry. Buti na lang, diba, oh, na they learn to trust Rain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hindi oh. siya naging sketchy. Hindi <laughs> siya naging so, so. <laughs> Yeah, but it's usual naman. Like, they're used to it because uh, I think the court said, yeah, the court said reporter before me was also from UP. And yeah. napakabait niyang tao, si Ate Corrine Katibayan. So, I think from there, medyo mas naging madali yung process for me. Until now, yeah. there are still reporters who are from different schools. Yeah. And of course, because they're professionals, di ba? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. it really doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I think. Okay. Ano pa ba ang picture? Or that was Dami the last one? Dami yung ano niyo. Kanina parang Ay. Rain as a surfer. Ngayon, Rain as a courtside reporter. Oh. May Rain as a student jock. <laughs> Ay, Bye. may last photo pa. Oo, oh, oh, may last photo. Iba naman yung last photo natin. Yan. Oo, yes. Rain, as a baby. So, yes. as, as a baby. Right? Oh. As a baby girl. And my dad. May matang ko na ako nung binubuksan ko dyan. Pero, I remember at that age, I was obsessed with kitchen toys. And I'm not sure if may kapatid na ako at that time. But this was our, like, old, 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 old house. Tapos, I have bare, like, only lang yung recollection ko. Like, barely anything na I recall from that house. Pero, I do remember, like, I loved sitting in that area. Parang siyang, like, la nai slash receiving area. And, um, yeah, that's my dad. We spend a lot of time together. I think I take a lot from my dad more than my mom and I. So, yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's important. I love that photo. We have a lot of funny, cool photos with me and my dad. Kasi, sobrang mm-hmm. daddy's spirit. Oh, and there you yeah. go. Wait, where's okay? Ayun. There, are we gonna ano na, go back to the questions? The next yes. one, I don't know if I'm gonna be a social media read. Medyo pa- I understand. I'm gonna be a social media read. I'm gonna be a social media read. I'm gonna be a social media read. I'm gonna be a social Oh, diba? Ang ganda ng mga nakuha natin persona ni Rain. Yan. So, moving on. Mas, ano na tayo, mas lalalim na tayo dito. Like, about your career okay. since, well, you've told us, you've mentioned ano yung mga naranasan mo before, before showbiz, and so we know that you've lived or you've led a very colorful career life. So, tell us about your career naman prior to your social media fame prior to social media um back super super backtrack i guess i was 14 when i i, I was a senior in high school so matay na ako ng talk tapos may may nagspeak doon sabi ko kasi natitinan ko siya after kasi makapal mukha ko diba like i i know <laughs> what i want i go after like opportunities yeah. i want to have I said this genuinely, sabi ko lang naman, Hi sir, um, your talk was great. I hope that we could work together someday. And mm-hmm. he said, Nakit someday pa, bukas na. And he was like wow. a broadcaster, like radio show. As I got invited to that radio show, and I remember, um, 14. Ko naman, yeah, 14. Akala ko naman parang ano lang, like wala lang, radio show, just watch. It was a privilege in itself already to be inside mm-hmm. A radio booth mm. for me at that time. And I was at the time of my life na parang, I'm not sure if gusto kong mag-med or if gusto kong mag... Kasi nag-science high school ako. Uh. Gusto kong mag um, communication course. Because people have been saying na mag-com ka na lang rin, super bagay sa'yo. At that time, yeah, like, yeah. com even. So, um, stepping into that booth in the interview nila si Brian Po Lehmanzares, which was Grace Po's son. And... Mm. Oh my gosh, ano ano tatanong ko dito pinaupo nila ako, <laughs> nila ako on the spot and I was like what? Like ano sabihin ko but I think um <clears throat> I vaguely remember the question that I asked but I think it was good enough because that's how I got into it like they invited me to more radio shows and after that when I got into UP nagcom nga ako doon and I wanted to continue it. So, student job. And then, I became a courtside reporter. So, medyo mm. marami lang yari na I learned to host along the way. But I really would say a lot of, like, <clears throat> the formative career years of mine happened in college. 
Kasi mm. I met a lot of people in my course and in my community who are after the same opportunities. And if they weren't yeah. like that, parang hindi ako mahahatak along with them eh. So, I'm glad yeah. that that was the crowd that I was working in. Because sila noon, gusto nilang mag- mag VJ search auditions, courtside hmm. reporter auditions, mga nago audition for in nga yung mga um go see. So I'm like hmm. okay to ah dito ko malalaman kung saan hmm. yung opportunities na I also want for myself. And from there, I auditioned to become a courtside reporter and um sobrang daming sobrang dami kong people na meet, a lot of opportunities opened up for me. And I thought my career was like going great. Until the yeah. pandemic happened. Mm. Well, oh. it, was, it was that year. It was my batch of courtside reporters. Of, it was that UAAP season na, na cut short because of the pandemic. And I was really sad. Like, I was crying a lot. Kasi parang, wait lang, nasisira yung five-year plan ko for my life. Ito <laughs> pang i-continue. Parang nagsisimul, nag-warm up yeah. as a reporter eh. And, yeah, well... To, uh, naman, to, hi, hi, Ate Rach! To, uh, I think, to my benefit, <laughs> I would say, mm-hmm. uh, the pandemic really became uh, life-changing for me. So, Mm-mm. hi, Ate Rach! Wait lang, ano yan? Hi, Ate Rach! Handler ni Rian! I, was, I remember I was with her around, like, this time last <laughs> show ever. Oh. So, going back naman dun sa pandemic era natin, no? okay, that's yeah. when your skit started, di ba? Yeah. yeah. So, yun yung mga napanood kung daming nagtatag sa akin before dun sa Konyo Girl. So, Konji so, Watch. Oo. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, tinatag, tinatag ako. I actually thought before na you were from my school. It was so believable. I'm not gonna name drop na lang the school. Baka mabash. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. yeah. So, What was your inspiration naman for the characters? So you have the Konyo girl and the trophy wife. Mm, um, like, how did you choose yeah. those characters? Siguro for true... Uh, wait, mamaya na si trophy wife. Konyo girl muna. For Konyo girl, mm. um, like you mentioned nga, parang ito, akala nila, or kala nyo, I'm from your school. No one would have guessed na I was from UP. Until now. People, I still get comments na, hindi na ako nagsiskit na Konyo girl. Like, huh? <laughs> But you will be surprised. There are a lot of con you people in yeah. UP. Oh, and oh, oh, I know. Yeah, that's true. From UP, you know, con you. Yeah, yeah. Tuto, oh, dun yawa na ging con you prior to ah, that. Okay. Jolos, jolos ko. But um, uh, when I entered UP, because I met a lot of people in my course who uh-huh. spoke like that, and my best friend specifically. Her name is Isa, and I've thrown her name around in some videos before when I was doing Konyo Girl. Siya talaga yon. Like, I remember, I just tried to look at her experiences na parang registrar, yeah. like, asking to move her class kasi Schedule, siya sa uh, home, coding, uh, like, <laughs> mga ganon. It was just really funny to me. Like, hearing uh, that was a very funny story for me. And, you know, I guess, just thinking... Well, sino may mga kasama ko noon. Um, yeah, mga ganyan. Ay, 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 yan medyo later on na kasi I transitioned to showbiz. And I was like, bakit ganito lahat ng kontrabida? But, Uh-oh. when I entered, um, when I entered UP, medyo nagulat lang ako na, oh my gosh, may mga people pa lang ganito. That's very interesting na ganito mm-hmm. sila mag-talk and it's just, ganito siya magkwento na parang, <laughs> you no, know, parang, hi nako, kasi it's just super annoying na ganito kanyan. That's, it's just so funny to me. And um, having known na si na Marvin Fohas back then was doing yung D na skits, sobrang tawang-tawa ko noon. Um, McCoy was doing Aunt Julie. It was really like, people were doing POVs. And yeah. uh, didn't I never thought I would be an influencer. But because POVs became something that you can do as an influencer... I'm like, ayaw ko rin yan. Nakakatawa sa gagawin natin. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm a jester talaga. My mom calls me. Napaka-jester, Maureen. I love copying people. Like, <laughs> like not in a very, not in a demeaning way, but in a funny way. Yeah. Parang, Ay, alam mo, ganito ka. Yung pag may gumaya sa'yo, tawang-tawa ka. So, I, mm-hmm. I just did that in, like, in, and use TikTok as my platform and the rest of history. So, I tried to recall that time kasi, syempre, hindi naman 
Parang hindi pa yata kami nag-online class noon. That was August of 2020. Like, the thoughts and the scenarios were just, like, flowing so freely. People would tell me, yeah. do, ano naman, and onti pa lang kasi nagpipod noon, onti pa lang yung mga nagpipod noon. People would be like, do this scenario, or gawin mo naman, kunyari, um, nagbiyahe, or kunyari, nakapila sa ganito, or kunyari, um, nasa labas ka ng classroom, talking to one of your classmates. So, everyone was like, just giving so many ideas, and of course, mm-hmm. I tried to make them my own, blended it with my experiences. So, it was very, very easy. And I hit a speed bump in 2021 when things suddenly changed. Like, parang, For you to encounter a conyo girl or a conyo classmate, medyo mm-hmm. mahirap na kasi your classmates na off cam, you don't really get to interact. Yeah. And that's how oh, I yeah. get Yeah, that's how I get fueled for my sense. Eh. Like I experience human life and I observe the people around me. So, ayun, parang um I needed to lay low and then after maybe a couple months, several months actually of resting, Trophy wife was just like, ting, 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 ting. Parang, shock, saan ko nahugot to? Kasi naka-lock in. <laughs> so, swab test pa nun, PCR. Naka-ano kami. Ayan, I remember filming this. I was at the taping bubble. Nasa hotel pa kami. Tapos, I think, rest day ko. And, mm-hmm. um, it's a blend of a lot of things, really. Yet, itong specific show na, ay, itong specific show. Itong specific uh-huh. video na, kawala ko sa sarili ko. Kasi parang, I've always been wondering, ano bang ibig sabihin ng GMO? So parang, okay, dahil I wonder about that. Kunyari, yeah. I'm a true wife who shops and asks like, so what does ano, non-GMO means? What what uh, mean? What does free-range hands mean? Like, ano ibig sabihin nun? So parang, I just incorporated that in my video. But really, trophy I started because I wanted to work out. And yan yung nasuot kong damit. Yung blue, <laughs> blue green, whatever jacket na yan. Yeah. And I was wearing, like, active wear. Tapos yung bag ko noon, regalo lang sa akin ng auntie ko yun. It was a uh, Balenciaga city bag, I think. Tapos I was like, ah, wait, isn't this what I want to be in the future? Parang, is this career day? This it was just, um, it was just a rant. I love ranting on TikTok because that's where I throw my thoughts. I was just like, um, They say dress for the job you want, ganyan ganyan, and then okay. like small, not even a skit. I was just like, oh my gosh, guys, parang bagay, and I just said, anak behave. That was from that whole anak behave. I was like, okay, parang pwede to going skit. And since I was in a hotel, there was a robe, and then I remember that evening I was doing my skincare from a long bath. I was like, oh wait, really? That iconic my- video. Nagaran ganon pa ako. Like, why do rich moms do like this to their hands, no? Parang, yun pala yung story. I, na, I know, I know why. Why? Kasi nga, it's the same with your neck and your chest. Mabilis siyang kumulubot. So you have to put Maybe. moisturizer. Yeah. Oh, yun. So see, you learn something new. But, Uh-oh. parang nga, <laughs> ganun sila. Pati Come my tita, ganyan. And yeah. the true trophy wife came from like, my my titas, they would say, hi, naka trinofi lang naman kami kasi like, we're smart, we're ganito, we're ganyan. So parang, ay, ganon, for me, positive yung, positive yung commentation yeah. trophy wife. Because for other yeah. people, they've been commenting, so na lang, trophy wife, hindi ba yan yung parang ano lang, parang ginamit lang, ganyan, ganyan. I'm like, what? I've never heard that definition my entire life. And if you look at like, Modern Family, which I love, I love that show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, She's an amazing woman, and if that's the definition Super. of wife, parang so be it. <laughs> I guess para ano na siya, modern homemaker. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Like hindi ka na nakakulong lang sa bahay. Like you have a life also outside the home, but oh. responsible pa din naman. Kasi di ba sa skits mo lagi mong kinahanap si Ihigo? Na huli mo pang asya sa mall. Yes. Na huli mo siya sa mall, right? Oh, Ito, ano, 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 Yeah, mukha, mukha lang akong naglalaro sa social media. But I try to be smart. 
And just having my degree, I loved writing script before. I mm-hmm. knew that this was gonna be anything like the skits na let's say sina Tina Fey, the stuff that they write. There needs to be a recall for it to be funny. So I said, okay, yeah. I need a name. So nag naglista pa ako ng names. Sabi ko, ano ba mga Rafael or mga Miguel, <laughs> Alfonso, mga Lorenzo, mga Lorenzo, <laughs> Santi, Basti. <laughs> Ako po, gano'n. Gano'n. Pero, hindi. Hindi, bro. Kasi, may N niya dapat. And that's ah. the right <laughs> Oh, Miss my gravitas. <laughs> yes. We're after that gravitas. Sabi po, syempre, when you're like a rich housewife, N niya, N niya. Yes, so true. Hindi available sa keyboard yung N niya. <laughs> Yon, kailangan mahirapan silang hanapin sa keyboard or even isulat like sa school, di ba? Parang inigun ba yan? Mag-i-end pa ako, mom. Hanapin sa keyboard. I did so many videos ng period na to na nasa lock-in ako. Kaya sabi nila, wow. ay si mommy. May nag-comment pa nun, ay si mommy nag-uuwi ng robe. Girl, hindi ako nag-uuwi ng robe. Gila ko sa hotel. Grabe naman. Naka-lock-in ka lang. Yeah. Toto. In fairness, resource ko lang dami content na yun, gawa. No? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I was bored. I was doing a lot of work. Yeah, and it's one of those personalities or characters na very sustainable. Like, ang daming situations na pwede mo siyang mag- Yeah, because mom and dad. Yeah. Medyo nahirapan lang ako to continue churning out content because, ver- like, Konyo Girl, I actually lived that scene. I was in yeah. school. But mm-hmm. I'm not an I'm, I'm actually not a wife. I'm not a mom. So parang <laughs> hanap ng scenarios. Parang there's only yeah. na I can know. So I think I need kana ako ng maglagi-lagi sa mga tita spaces sa malls. Oh. Oh. Magpa-survey ka na. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. So, Ayan. Okay. FK. Uh um, Okay, so Diba, um, you started with that before showbiz. So, paano yung naging transition mo from social media personality mm-hmm. to showbiz personality? Ooh, um, medyo, it had to be the same persona for a while. Because they needed to like, okay, she's an internet personality going into showbiz. Parang ganun yung paglo-launch sa akin nun eh. But, and mm-hmm. I was a hoster naman. So, it wasn't that much of a difference. I think medyo ngayon ako nagsa struggle not really struggle but ngayon mm. ngayon ko na feel yung difference cause um people already know from my skits na makulit ako nakalog ako mm-hmm. and i get to do i got to do roles like that but what if i want to do more serious roles yun yung medyo parang hmm, how do we how do we do that but entering of course mm. um, i tried to play it uh, safe and well it was enjoyable din naman though safe na to just work within what i knew and that was, you know, um, yung mga roles na gano'n, na makulet, ganyan. And syempre, they wouldn't give me tita roles naman. Well, yeah. Girl, when your girl, too soon. Ng, ano eh, ng GMA. Big Pero job. after trophy, I hindi naman nila bibigyan ng tita. <laughs> ano. But I would say the transition was, um, the transition needed to happen. Because at that time, so many creators are also going into different things and exploring other yeah. options. And for me, it always had to, like, it, it had to lead to showbiz. Kasi nag acting na ako online, eh. Parang gusto yeah. mm-hmm. act on TV and challenge myself in that way. So, um, it was a it was a shift. It was a career move that I've been waiting for for so long since I started that, um, since I started. Uh, yeah. On- so, yeah. I, um... It, it it's it's interesting. It's interesting how you shift from your online persona to the things that you have to do in showbiz. Because it's a totally different space. Okay, follow up oh. question lang no. Okay. Um, sin sin ka mas na feel na minimum pressure as as a social oh, media uh, content creator or as an actress in showbiz. Because I I I think mahirap rin social media eh, churning oh, oh, churning like your churn, own content. Yeah. That's difficult. But at the same time, in showbiz naman, it's fed to you, but mahirap din siya. The pressure, you put in yeah, effort. Yeah, but it's a matter of expectations yeah. from you. Ito, mm. um, 
it's parang it comes in seasons. May season na mas mahirap for me yung showbiz. May season mm-hmm. na mas mahirap yung social media. Like, right now, I would say there's a lot of pressure on the end of social media. Kasi parang, okay, after Trophy Wife, what do I do? I, I want to create a new character, but I don't want to pressure it. So, medyo may parang um, may decision-making process na nangyayari right now as to how I want to gear my content. Do I show more of my life or do I stick to creating yeah. stuff? And um, yung pressure naman sa sh- sh- showbiz, it really depends on what I'm doing, what current project I'm doing. Of course, may pressure then in terms of like, how do I brand myself? How do I become more artista? Like, ano mang itsura ng artista mm-hmm. compared sa itsura ng TikToker like I was before. Kasi syempre, yeah. like, growing up, like, I was a student then. Iba yung look ko ngayon. I'm a young professional. I'm a woman. So, um, I felt that pressure last year and it was, mm-hmm. it was insane. Kasi yung pressure last year, parang, hindi ko alam kung paano mag-find your camera sa set. Sabi na ko, find your light, find your camera. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ito. <laughs> <Ay, laughs> like, ano yung mga blocking? Hit your marker. Parang hindi ko pa sila ma-feel, hindi ko pa ma-sense. Mm, Pero, yeah. even, y- even yung script, how to read the breakdown, parang mapapabreakdown ka na lang trying to read like <laughs> a breakdown, understanding it without much help. Because mm-hmm. I feel like I was, ano eh, I feel like baptism by fire siya. Pero, um, now that I got the hang of it, yun, um, it has been easier. There has been less pressure. Pero I remember, mm-hmm. yeah, when I was starting that, sabi ko parang, oh my gosh, I really miss TikTok. Gusto ko na lang mag-TikTok. Pero, yeah, it comes and goes. It comes in waves. Very different for the two things. Hmm. So it, it's again like you said it's very seasonal it really depends on what you're handling at the moment diba right? mm-hmm. So especially like in the industry that you're in no kahit sa social media or sa showbiz um ito naman celebs have spoken up about how easy it is to feel insecure kasi mm-hmm. you need like you mentioned earlier like some about representation or looking a certain way Um, so, how do you deal with any insecurities that you might have? Um, hmm. Siyempre, I, I honestly acknowledge it. And I allow myself to feel it. Because it's mm-hmm. true, there are people who also are very deserving of the opportunities mm-hmm. that I have, who could possibly look better, who have more talents under their sleeve, like their resume is very, like, it's yeah. much more than mine. Pero, um, I just try to ground myself and think, we've already gotten this far because of these, like, the set of, the set of skills that you've grown. Mm. And that's my equity. So, parang, now, honestly, I'm less tense and I'm less, yeah. um, I'm less worried about certain opportunities na maybe not given to me and given to another person. Um, mm-hmm. Or maybe because they wanted to go a different route in terms of like the look of the actor, ganyan. Pero looking back, like I said, has helped because, for instance, yung role ko as like Salome or yung first role ko as best friend ni Rian, parang yeah. I think to myself, wait, bakit sa akin to napunta? Parang may, I feel <laughs> like parang hindi dapat to sa akin. So, <laughs> just looking back, there are opportunities that find their way to me. And Mm. end up such a good fit. And there have mm-hmm. been opportunities na parang, alam mo yun, alam, pinilit ko, pinilit kong maging akin kasi it will give me a false sense of security na parang galing-galing ko. Pero yeah. opportunities turn out to be harder and it's not as fulfilling. So, yeah, just trying to um, look back at what already has been given to me and yung roles na have been, I have been told na bagay sa akin. Ayun, um, every journey in showbiz is unique. And in the beginning, natatakot ako kasi parang feeling ko maubusan ako ng opportunities or like ng roles. Mm-hmm. Pero my mom would ground. Yeah. Eh, sabi niya sa akin, yeah. Rain, sobrang daming endorsements, sobrang daming brands, sobrang daming shows na nagawa na. Yeah. Hindi ka maubusan. Like, Just That's true. convincing myself that ako nga nakapasok sa space eh. So for sure, may mga tao din who look at me and think parang, hala, baka si Rain is out to get my opportunities. But, um, 
I try to think about it in such a way na showbiz, this whole industry is a very big space. And That's true. People, people come and go. There are enough opportunities to accommodate everyone. And yeah, just that. Stay on, yeah. on the grind and try, try to be hardworking, be a genuine person on set. Mm-hmm. And also be smart about, I, I try to take ownership of my career. Parang what I want to do the roles mm-hmm. that I want, the projects I want to do, how I want to portray myself online and uh, like in person. I communicate it to the people that I'm working with. Para mm-hmm. lang, they know. They know that I'm also making an effort. Because I think the fault of other people is that they just sit down and wait. Parang okay na sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Eh. Na ako, the yeah. opportunity will come. And you see another person getting those opportunities that you wanted. Ni mo alam, they worked hard. They um, yeah, the work behind the scenes that you don't know about, and uh, yeah, just just the balance of all those things helped me to not. That's be true. Happy. But of course, mm-hmm. I still do it from time to time. We're mm-hmm. we're just at the end of the day. Oh, so two key points. No, no, there are many seats at the table. Don't don't hesitate to um to grind for for a place in the space yeah. in, in the show be- in the show business um mm-hmm. world. And then also be more proactive. The yeah. like what you know. said, like just pursue. If mm-hmm. you really want it, just work hard for it. Yeah. Shoot, shoot your shot. shot. Yes, shoot yes. your shot. When I give you talks, we'll stay away natin. Yeah. When I give talks at schools, yun yung title lagi ng ano ko. Yun yung title yeah. lagi ng talk ko is shoot your shot. I think that should be the code card for Cosmos. Um, photo with <laughs> name, uh, rain. So yun. Shoot your shot, Rain. That is my mantra in all aspects. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, okay. ano naman, in line naman with your goals, kasi you mentioned earlier na you're very proactive when it comes to what you want to pursue, diba? So, ano pa ba yung other goals that you want to achieve in your career? Um, let's consider this as, ano na lang, an opportunity to manifest Assuming that the oh. universe is listening right now. Because you never know. Yeah. Um, we actually had an interview way back with Miles Ocampo where she mentioned uh, Batang Kiapo. I said way, way back. And then now she's in the show. So let's see, let's see. Years from now, we'll see. Shocks. Okay. You're good. I'm good. Because I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah. At first, I would love to do another challenging role, na period, like period role. Okay. Uh, historical shows. So, hopefully, I would land one again. Mm. What specifically? I don't know. Pero gusto ko challenging na hindi ko pa nagagawa before. And yeah, parang just to bring life to a script and hopefully yeah. not. Because it's kind of messy lang yung salome. And um, ano pa ba? Shocks. I want to be in a Netflix series. Like that's what oh. I'm in. A Netflix series, na talagang Netflix original. Parang yung ah, okay. the likes of ano? The likes of Shocks. What Netflix series did I love by recently? Yung mga Bridgerton ganyan. Na talagang it's a Netflix series. It's not like um a show na you did. Tas nag air lang sa Netflix. I think mm. working with actors who are from different um countries would be a very interesting challenge as well. So I'd love to do that. Um, what else do I want to do? Shocks, wait! The pressure ako! That pala the pressure ko! Kasi ako magma-manifest tayo. Yeah. Um, I would love to be a cover for a magazine. That's something I've, oh, okay. been, I've been wanting Ooh. to do. Parang do a shoot, be, a, be on the cover, and as a person... Mangyari na yan next month. Oh, what the guy? What the guy? Na agahan parin kasi ako sa ano eh, life ko in showbiz. Like it's only been two years, and so many things mm-hmm. have happened. Yeah, so, something I definitely, I definitely want. <laughs> um, mm. what else shocks. I want to uh, maybe host a show. I want to host a show. I miss. Mm. I miss. Oh yeah. Shows. I mean. I haven't really hosted a show show na talagang parang every week or, you know, yeah. just hosting in general. Like, like a regular like, talk show, ganon. Yeah, mga ganon. Mga, 
yung mga masayang shows na I just get to sit down and be genuinely yeah. interested about the person. Because yeah. that was my life for the longest time and I feel like I haven't been able to do it as much recently. Kung nag-host kasi ako para events na may script na or concert yeah. or like, um, you know, mga media ko ng GMA which I love doing by the way. Pero being the one to sit down, interview a person, kwento, or maybe do an activity mm. while at that, I want to experience that. Oh, so I think FK ito na. I think pwede nang si Rain pumalit sa atin sa next step live oh. if she wants to host. Ayun yung pinaparating ko. So ito na, na manifest na. Yes, oh, na manifest na. So kamusta naman kayo guys? How are your careers? Ang <laughs> <laughs> bilis oh, pala. Ganun ka bilis pa na dito sa step live mag-manifest. Oo. Oh, oh. mm. yeah. Yes, you know. Yeah, those are my goals. Ah, be part of a movie too. Yung mga movie na parang siguro remake of a classic. Remake of a Ooh, classic. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you like to be in all? What? Sorry. And, ano, ano, ano? Ay, ano rin? La- last na. Ang dami, naglista pala lang. Oh. <laughs> um, I really want to join Survivor. So, oh. I'm I've been watching Survivor Australia recently and yung Survivor Philippines bata pa ako nung nanonood din ako. So please, yeah. subscribe to Survivor dito at sasali ako. Ito. Malay okay. natin. Magla-light, magla-light na tayo ng mga kandila nito. Oo. Magre-retwell na tayo kasi yun na. So, Dami-daming listahan, no? Oo. Oo. Kailan mo na mag-alay yata ng itlog somewhere. Mag-alay. Simbahan, gano'n. Mano. <laughs> Ayan, thank you so much. Ang saya ng kwentuhan. Si Tama naman, di ba, Gino? Sobrang comfortable. Uh, Makawasan yeah. si Rin. Thank you. Sobrang saya ka kwentuhan. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Now, ano na, um, promos na. So, can we plug Uh-oh. naman any future events or activities that you have in store? And also your social media accounts. Can we promote them na din? Okay. Um, Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in dito sa Pep Live. I enjoyed the kwento as well. If you want to extend the kwento, I am on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is at Rain Matienzo. You could go ahead ask questions if you have questions about like career, like if you want advice. Go, I love responding to that. And um, Facebook as well, it's uh, it's uh, Rain Matienzo on that social media platform i'm also planning on starting a podcast soon it's just been difficult for me to like get the gears down because i'm doing it on my own it's like a passion project but the goal of that is to connect with the community more and hopefully be able to answer direct questions about how i got to do what i'm doing now or even questions about school like how i survive university so ayon, that will be the platform for that if you have questions and if you want to include those questions in that podcast just message me on my social media channels and also i filmed the guesting recently for pepito manaloto so watch out for that it's mostly guesting and i will be, yeah i will be announcing them on my social media channel soon and i manifest natin kasi ako maging regular sa pepito <laughs> <laughs> yes manifest natin oh, yan yeah. sobrang sobra na may dagdag <laughs> yeah. dagdag natin i'm excited for that because that script was just hilarious so watch out for that yeah and walang sobra it's good to dream big all the time yeah don't forget about us ha pag nagkatotoo yun we manifested oh. that together <laughs> Time nga, kayo na i-interviewin ko about your Uh-oh. interview. <laughs> Hello, my guest from uh, my yeah. talk show. <laughs> yes. So, I guess uh, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you so much, yeah. Rain, for joining us and, of course, making my first time here in Pep Live. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah. First time. Yeah. Oh, Parang hindi ko tuloy okay. minanifest ko din to eh, na ikaw yung na-interview. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Oo, oh, diba? Yeah. Dito pala. So guys, if may mga mamanifest kayo, basahin na natin ang kapalaran nyo. Bisita. <laughs> Bisita kayo dito. Uh-oh. Okay. Ayan, Pepsters, please don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe all of our social media accounts. They're found on our official website at www.pep.ph and then follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. It's all at PepAlert. 
And then on YouTube, it's pep.tv. And then on Kumu and Kalamanti, it's pep.ph. Chino, anything to add? So I guess that's all. My name is Chino. Uh oh. And my name is FK Bravo. Once again, let's give it up for Rain Matienzo. Thank, Thank you, Rain. Rain. Thank you, Rain. I love this conversation. <laughs> yes. yes. See you soon. You see you soon. Bye. Bye.